So when looking at Catapult, there's obviously hundreds of different metrics that we do use. Um, we try to pull it down to the bare necessities, and if we had to choose one key one, it would what be what we would term volume running. So with volume running, it's anything over 7 k's an hour, or two meters per second roughly. And that gives us an indication between active recovery and work, and just a total complete picture of how much work they're doing while cutting out that recovery period. In terms of preparedness to play, we've got longitudinal data where we've taken out position specific targets, and we know that every Monday, Tuesday, we'll try and hit these targets. Uh, we generally try and get per position and kind of an individual load specific to their game and themselves. We'll try and hit two of those, two game loads being a Saturday and a Tuesday. And we know that if their average capacity over the last few weeks is up where we need it to be, they should be prepared to play. If we didn't have the catapult system, it would definitely be a little bit harder. Generally what we find is when we plan a training session, about 60% of the guys will be where we want them to be. Then you'll always have the odd 20 on either side, where some are overcooked, some are undercooked, and it's more of a, a subjective marker than objective. So if they're getting too close to it, we're able to pull back. If they're underdone by the end of the session, we can always top them up afterwards. So by using the catapult units and being able to properly paradise our athletes, we've had a 50% reduction in injuries over the last two years. And obviously this is a multivariate approach where a lot of different things come into the fact, well, into the mix of things, but a big portion of it we like to give towards our load management. Catapult system has been crucial when returning athletes to play. It allows us to get an objective marker and we know their pre-existing standards of where we need them to get. We have certain benchmarks. Once they get to these and tick the right boxes, then we know that we can reintegrate them into play and they'll have a less likely chance of re-injuring. Having the catapult system to help manage transition of athletes is a massive point for us, where we've got players, if we go through the levels of academy, into minor 10, into super rugby, up to all blacks and back, they're obviously in different environments, experiencing different loads. What the catapult system does is it allows us to get an objective mark on what they're doing in these loads, or in these different environments, and when they do come back into ours, we can transition them smoothly without having any major spikes. Uh, look, we've been with Catapult for a number of years now. It's great customer support and service for us um, and it's a system that we can trust um, to keep being the best system that's out there to serve our, our needs. Yeah, we, we were fortunate to get um, some great success last year on field uh, and the system was definitely a big part of that for us. Uh, managing travel loads um, is a big part of Super Rugby. Um, we do have to go across multiple time zones and, and travel some, some fair distances. So. To make sure that we nail, uh, especially the early part of our week on arrival, um, is really big for us. So to make sure we can monitor that, manage um, and get those parts right. And the back end of the week for us is all about intensity no matter where we are. So for us to be able to hit those targets and know that we're hitting those targets to prepare to be at our best on Saturday um, is the, the biggest point behind what we do to perform. The information that we get um, from Catapult is obviously, it goes across a, a number of different departments um, and it's, it's sort of the piece that binds us all together, we're all working off the same information. Um, so we present information to the coaches around our training loads and, and training data to make sure that not only do we get better as the season goes on in terms of our conditioning, um, but that we hit our specific targets that we want to for match intensity in some trainings. Uh, and, and reloading players earlier in the week if we need to. One of the, the great things for us, we can align the system um, with, our, with our match analysis system. So we can look at specific periods of play in a game and, and really drill down into what the demands of those period, periods are. Uh, and a critical thing for performance for us is to be able to train those worst case scenarios so when they appear in game it's normal and we're ready to go for them. One of the challenges we do face is having a number of All Blacks, but it's also a great blessing because we do have some great players. Um, and that's something that we want to obviously continue developing um, through our system. It shows that we're able to grow those players. Um, when, when they do transition between two different environments, uh, we need to know what they've been doing when they haven't been here and how we manage their transition back into our environment to get to where we need them to be when they're with us. Um, so Catapult helps us get that right make sure that they hit the right targets when they're training with us um, to transition them back into performance as quick as possible.